Hello guys, class, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. So right here we'll be tackling the jump pass question for the subject of 2016. Please don't go anywhere, stay with us, we'll be right back. my school channel so right now we're tackling question 26 down to question 45 beginning with question 26 in nigeria the foundations of federalism was laid by the option a mcpherson constitution option b leaflet constitution option c clifford constitution option d uh, richard constitution the answer to this question is richard constitution the foundation was laid by Richard Constitution and it became full-blown during the Little Constitution 1954. But then it was laid down by um, the Richard Constitution in 1946. So the answer to this question is option D, Richard Constitution. Question 27. Franchise can be described as the right to option A, vote at elections, option B, form political parties, option C, vote and be voted for, option D, contest in elections. The answer to this question is option C, vote and be voted for. So franchise or political franchise is the right to vote, that is vote in public and be voted for during an election. So the answer to this question is option C. Question 28. A major factor that necessitated the adoption of federalism in Nigeria was the option A, intention of creating states, option B, diversity of culture and language, option C, abundance of natural resources, option D, low level of literacy. The answer to this question is option B, diversity of culture and language. Do not forget that federalism or a federal system of government is one in which there is a division of power among different levels or tiers of government. Now, when we talk about federalism in Nigeria, the reason or the major reason that necessitated the adoption of federalism in Nigeria is because Nigeria is a heterogeneous nation. It has a lot of people with different backgrounds, different cultures, and all of that. So option B is the correct answer to this question. However, we have other reasons that necessitated the adoption, such as um, fear of minorities or the size of the country. But then um, diversity of culture is the major reason for the adoption of federalism in Nigeria. So therefore, option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 29. The office of the Prime Minister in Nigeria was created in option A, 1951, option B, 1954, option C, 1959, option D, 1957. The answer to this question is option D, 1957. The seat of the Prime Minister was created in 1957 and it ushered in the first Prime Minister in person of Al Bakr Atafa Balewa in the same year, 1957. Okay, so he, he was the Prime Minister until 1966 when he died. Okay, the answer to this question is option D, 1957. Question 30. The Nigerian police is an agency of the option A, judicial arm of government, option B. Ministry of Defense, option C, Executive Arm of Government, option D, Ministry of Interior. The answer to this question is option C, Executive Arm of Government. Now, why is this so? First and foremost, the Nigerian Police is a law enforcement agency. A law enforcement. What does law enforcement imply? It means they implement the laws laid down, the policies laid down, they implement policies. So the answer to this question is option C because the ex executive arm of government have to do with the implementation of laws. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 31. The legislature checks the excesses of the executive through option A, appointment of civil servants, option B, screening of governors, option C, scrutiny of the budget, option D, nomination of judges. The answer to this question is scrutiny of the budget. Now, what does this imply? It implies that the legislature have the right or have the authority to scrutinize budgets, to examine, to inspect budgets. And they do this in order to monitor the way public fund is being used by the executive. So the answer to this question is option C, scrutiny of the budget. Question 32. Government by the best citizen is referred to as option A, aristocracy, option B, democracy, option C, oligarchy, option D, plutocracy. The answer to this question is option A, aristocracy. 
Aristocracy is a form of government by the best citizen. Democracy is a system of government in which people have the right to choose their representative. Oligarchy is a system in which a few number of people have power or rules. Option D, plutocracy is a government by the wealthy. So the answer to this question is option A, aristocracy. Question 33. The charter establishing the AU was signed in option A, Togo, option B, Libya, option C, South Africa, option D, Ethiopia. The answer to this question is option D, Ethiopia. Okay, so the charter establishing the African Union was um, held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. So do not forget that it was actually founded on the 26th of May 2009. One. However, the answer to this question is option D, Ethiopia. Question 34. In Nigeria, items in the exclusive list are under the jurisdiction of option A, regional governments, option B, state governments, option C, central government, option D, local government. The answer to this question is option C, central government. Okay, the exclusive list is a list that contains powers that can only be exercised by the central government or what we all know as the federal government. So the answer, therefore, is option C, central government. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT past questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you can download My School Mobile app for your Android phones or my school software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download. Now moving on to question 35. Which of these factors motivated colonialism in Africa? Option A, scientific superiority. Option B, humanitarianism. Option C, economic interest. Option D, cultural superiority. The answer to this question is option C, economic interest. So one of the factors that motivated colonialism in Nigeria is because of their interest in our uh, economic values. They wanted our recreational land from Africa, they wanted our raw materials, and that was the reason or that was what motivated them into colonizing um, Africa. So option C is the correct answer to this question. I believe you are enjoying this content. If yes, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 36. The responsibility of giving policy guidelines to the Board of Corporation rests with the option A, Board of Directors, option B, Minister, option C, Chairman, option D, Permanent Secretary. The answer to this question is option B, Ministers. Now, Ministers are politicians who head a particular ministry and they make and implement decisions and policies as regards their ministry or corporation. So the answer to this question is option B. Board of Directors, however, is a group of people who, who jointly supervise the activity of an organization. So in summary, the answer to this question is option B, Minister. Question 37. Which of these institutions make bylaws? Option A, Council of State. Option B, National Assembly. Option C, Local Government Council. Option D, State House of Assembly. The answer to this question is local government council. So bylaws are laws made by local governments or local authorities or public corporations. Okay, so option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 38. Federal and state governments legislate on items in the option A residual list, option B legislative list, option C exclusive list, option D concurrent list. The answer to this question is concurrent list. So the concurrent list is a list that contains um, powers that can only be exercised by the federal and the state governments. However, residual list is a list that contains powers that can be exercised by the state and local governments. Why exclusive list is a, is a list that contains powers that can only be exercised by the federal government or the central government. So the answer to this question, because it entails federal and state government, it is option D, concurrent list. Question 39. In Nigeria, public corporations are established by option A, executive order, option B, a bylaw, option C, an act of parliament, option D, military decree? The answer to this question is option C, an act of parliament. Okay, so um, public corporation is a, is a form of public enterprise that is created through a self-governing unit by a special decree or an act of parliament. So the answer to this question is option C, an act of parliament. 
Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can go ahead and ask your questions by using the link provided in the description below. Please click on this link. It takes you to the My School website there. You can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now, moving on to question 40. In the Awusa pre-colonial political system, the spiritual and political powers were vested in the option A, Emia, option B, Madawaki, option C, Galadima, option D, Waziri. The answer to this question is option A, Emia. It was both the spiritual head and political head. He had political powers, he could make laws, he could enforce law and maintain peace and order. Okay, so that's the answer to the question, Emia. However, option B, Madawaki. Madawaki was the commander, commander of the army. Galadima was in charge of the capital. Waziri was the head of all officials. So the answer to this question is option A, Emia. Do you have st better steps, explanation, or solutions to any of those questions? Please feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the questions as well as the solutions you would like to share. Question 41. Which of the following approves the annual budget of the UN? United Nations. Option A, the General Assembly. Option B, the Secretariat. Option C, the Security Council. Option D, Trusteeship Council. Do not forget that the UN has six um, organs and the answer to this question is option A, the General Assembly. The General Assembly approves budgets, it also discusses, debates and gives recommendations on subjects pertaining to international peace and security. So the answer to this question is option A, the General Assembly. Question 42. Lagos was annexed in option A, 1861, option B, 1871, option C, 1814, option D, 1853. The answer to this question is option A, 1861. The British annexed Lagos as a colony in 1861. The answer to this question is option A, 1861. Question 43. A disadvantage of the one-party system is that it, option A, is costly to operate. Option B does not tolerate opposition. Option C does not care about the feelings of the masses. Option D discourages periodic elections. The answer to this question is option B does not tolerate opposition. Okay, so a one party system or a single party system does not tolerate opposition. And this is a major disadvantage of a one party system. So since it recognizes one legal party, it therefore would not tolerate another. So that this is what it means by not tolerating an opposition. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 44. At the formation of the OAU, Nigeria belonged to the option A, Monrovia Group, option B, Casablanca Group, option C, Lagos Group, option D, Brazzaville Group. The answer to this question is Monrovia Group. So before the emergence of OAU, there were different groups with different ideologies and goals. And we have three of them, the Monrovia Group, Casablanca Group, and Brazzaville Group. Now, under the Monrovia Group, we had several countries such as Nigeria, we had Tunisia, Ethiopia, Liberia, and so on and so forth. Option B, Casablanca, we had Ghana was in this group, Mali, Libya, Guinea, and so on. Um, option D, Brazzaville, consists of um, Francophone countries. So the answer to this question is option A, Monrovia Group. Question 45. The ECOWAS Monitoring Group began its operation in option A, Sierra Leone, option B, Guinea, option C, Gambia, option D, Liberia. The answer to this question is option D, Liberia. Now, ECOWAS Monetary Group is also known as ECOMONG and it was established by ECOWAS in year 1919 to specifically intervene in the Liberia Civil War. So, it's, the Civil War started in year 1989 to 1996 and the group was actually created to end the bloody war in, in Liberia at that particular time. So later on, ECOWAS deployed ECOMOG to, to control the conflicts in um, Sierra Leone in year 1997 and also in Guinea 1999. So the first was in 1990 and so it began its operation in 1990 during the Liberia War and it was created or established to end that particular war. So its first operation therefore is in year 1990 in Liberia. So the answer to this question is option D, Liberia. We've come to the end of this segment and I believe you enjoyed every bit of it. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.